air signs of Sagittarius. My name is Kim and I'm going to do your reading for the next 48 hours just to just because reading really. Um, we're going to start off with the Zen Tarot. So uh, let's get started. Let's call in your angel spirit guides, higher self, higher power to get messages that are for the greater good Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, um, we're going to start with the Zen Tarot. Like I said, it's a little bit different than regular tarot. And we're going to do the diamond spread with it. So it should give us insight into a particular issue. That is the ultimate goal with this. And just keep in mind, it's very different. Like, majorly the arcana, the major arcana, that's the biggest difference. So, let's get a card for Sagittarius that represents the issue in our diamond spread. All right, the issue card is friendliness. Friendliness. Making good, harmonizing partnerships with people around you. Um, wow, we have the number two on the bottom two. Possibilities, two with friendliness. Making friends, enjoying others' time, seeing the good in others, like, uh, and not comparing either. So it's like the red tree says, I love your, I love your yellow leaves. Those are so great. And then the yellow trees, like, I love your red leaves. But they wouldn't want to be changed. They aren't comparing. They just like each other. And they appreciate qualities that they see in, in one another. So there is your issue. And I, I don't see that as being, you know, unless, unless this is a challenging partnership for you, which it might be. I don't know. Because all, all it's really representing right here is two people partnership. Well, it is representing harmonious times. So your timeline, right? So then the number two card goes here and it is going to represent what you don't see coming. <laughs> the rebel. I love the rebel card because the Zen Tarot actually, they do something a little different. I see that they were, they do like the, like if you had a devil in reverse, he would be the rebel because the rebel isn't bound by anyone. Chains cannot tie this thing down, this person. This person ends up being like a force, a force to reckon with because um, very brave, courageous. There's nothing that can hold this person down. They are so aware and in control of their mind, body, and soul that trying to lock them up would be futile. So, breaking free, breaking free from something, breaking free. All right, so I love that. So, it's the opposite of temptation getting you. It's control, self-discipline. Um, it's a really Im important role in life, especially with the Zen. Um, just control and discipline. All right, what is in this location is what's coming forward, and you should know this energy, or that is the premise. That's what we like to think. Oh, look, comparison, and that's what I was getting from this tree was comparison. So it, it talks about how the bamboo is shaped very different than the tree, you know, with the the tall tree with the, I guess it's an oak tree. Let's say it's an oak tree. So the bamboo doesn't say, I wish, um, you know, I wish that I didn't have such a hollow inside <laughs> that I was more like this other tree. No, they all serve a purpose. Their function is even different and trees don't go around comparing each other, thinking that one is better than the other. So this is about comparison and this is about not letting that rule for you, especially don't let it cause any conflicts or arguing. All right, so down here is going to be the solution to the problem. I think it's infinite possibilities because no thingness is on the bottom. All right. But let's ask the cards. Compromise, okay. Compromise. You needing some, this is a lot about twos, guys. But this is um, you needing something from someone and they might need something from you. 
and to, to, to finish a goal, you need each other, so compromise and meet in the middle. That's what I see that meaning to me. All right, what is the, this is a probable outcome. It doesn't have to be, it's just a probable. Or Sagittarius. Probable outcome, sorrow. Oh gosh, no, we're gonna find out more about that. Anxiety, sorrow. Why? Okay, we're going to find out why. Let's, let's stay with me here. We'll get through this. <laughs> what is the sorrow here for? Oh, well, that's not really bad. The sorrow is over the rebirth of you, possibly you. The rebirth represents, um, you know, going through a lot of this stuff, this is a, this is an ascend, an ascension, <laughs> going from this anxiety to a complete rebirth of who you are. Yeah, that that's what the sorrow is about. Sometimes change is hard, even missing the parts of us that weren't really helping us, even missing those parts. So. Let's see. Let's do let's do another one for that top row. I'm curious. I'm curious. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So we have 6 the success and the, and then we have letting go after that. We have receptivity. This is like your queen of cups energy. So being very receptive. If you want to receive money, then you have to practice with receiving things from all areas. So receiving somebody's kind words, that's practicing being in the receiving mode. And it's getting you ready for receiving more, right? So awareness, this is when you speak your truth because you're aware of everything around you. So what you see is your truth. This is that awareness that you're no longer a victim. You are in control of everything. Awareness that this had to change, this rebirth. Maybe a, awareness might have led to some sorrow because maybe you didn't know that the way you were acting in the past or the words that you were saying were affecting somebody on such a deep level. That might be part of it. Not knowing how your actions are affecting others, too, in your family, people who care about you. Ultimately, you guys, it leads to this success card, so we're going to leave that out there, too. Ultimately, it leads to this success. I'm not sure if you do know that's coming in for you, too. So we're going to leave it there. All right, let's get some tarot and find, find out what the tarot wants to add to your reading right away get something right away <clears throat> and you know receptivity also can be talking about like a queen of cups energy can be talking about going to a therapist or just having somebody to listen to basically all right so the high priestess hmm the high priestess believing um, and and I'll tell you in this book what well what I see this is spirituality spirituality coming in like an offer of love offering you to get away from um, these thoughts that are always in your mind choppy waters choppy because thoughts just keep coming in and it's it's turbulent like that being and so I think I see this as being able to watch your thoughts and realize that all are not yours too. The high priestess, maybe talking about a Pisces, but this is just knowing something in your intuition, just having a knowing that this awareness now is being offered to you out of love. And then we have another two guys. We had the two of wands in reverse with comparison. Comparing yourself to others and judging is going to stop you from focusing on your manifestation. Ultimately, these two are in the reverse because the progress gets halted whenever we are comparing ourselves to others. That's what I'm getting with that. 
So it's unhealthy for you, unhealthy to do that. All right. Now let's look at the wisdom from the oracle. See what they have to say. It's a pretty spread. I really like it. Now, of course, this can mean, you know, it is mine, but it can also mean like new job having to move away or commute. New job having to commute or new, um, or it doesn't have to be new. It could just be an offer of love from somebody or job. I see your rebirth or the new you might cause some problems around you. May cause some problems around you. Deep knowing like that high priestess, having the intuition. So, yeah, I mean, chaos and conflict landed right on rebirth and sorrow. So this anxiety... Um, that you might encounter like in the near future, it may be anxiety related to you changing yourself. And I think this change, it might, it might start to separate you from some people that you just don't resonate with anymore. So the orphaned card is kind of about being at a certain vibration and uh, the people that you're around just aren't at that vibration. So we have chaos and conflict. Ugh, goodness. Well, the good thing is, is that you've learned all these tools to not let some things affect you. Round and round with the rebel. <laughs> Something goes round and round. It is a cycle. There is a cycle in your life. Maybe you're becoming aware of this cycle. When you become aware of it, then you can change it. It's like Freud said, when you notice a behavior pattern or you notice a certain personality trait, something that you want to change about yourself, it, it all it takes is being able to notice it. Awareness. Maybe ending a cycle. Then we have the blessed card with compromise. Oh, with the high priestess. I think that means you have some into, like empathic abilities too, though. Um, because I, when it comes out as blessed in the high priestess, there's something that you didn't have to do at all to receive this um, energy. And it's that of the empath. And having very heightened, almost psychic intuition now at this time. Then we have the Y card. The Y card is for your manifestations. Make sure that when you're focusing on what you're manifesting, that you state why, what is your intention of doing this? Because when it is paired up with divine, um, you're doing something that's gonna benefit all and it blesses you too at the same time. So, so yeah, it's, the intention makes it that much more powerful. All right, and the blessed, like I said, you don't have to do anything for that card. Let's look at tea leaves, Sagittarius. Well, that's good. All right, I'm going to pick these. There, there is a lot. They might not all resonate with you, but just pick what does. Ear good news. Pig, beware of greed. Beware of greed. Sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. A two of ones can also mean new job, by the, by the way. Lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry. Maybe that chaos and conflict up there. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. Boat, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall and dogs getting together with friends beautiful guys it's a really good spread thanks for joining me sending you love and light join me for your next reading bye sagittarius